And whilst we're in your division, obviously, um, you're the Commonwealth champion. There's a target on your back. And um, it was quite interesting to see um, another fighter, uh, Wadi Camacho, talking about um, making himself mandatory for your title. And um, obviously, you two came head to head um, unexpectedly. So, w what's your thoughts on that fight potentially happening? It can happen. And again, I stick to what I say, I will knock him out. <laughs> I just think he's past his best, you know. Um, and if he gets into the mandatory position and earns his shot, then I'll knock him out. But other than that, I d I'm on my own agenda. I want to fight Matty Askin. Uh, he's got the British, I've got the Commonwealth, a domestic unification. What a fight, what a fight, you know. The fans would like it, and that's good for boxing. And then once I beat Matty Askin, I hold all the cards in the division. <laughs> So, yeah. so I have to ask, what 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 is it that you have in your arsenal that makes you think you'll beat Camacho? Camacho? Yeah. I hit harder than him. I'm faster than him. I'm fitter than him. I'm more hungry than him. He's been in hard fights and uh, he's he's passed it. I, and ain't disrespect. I just say what I see in my opinion. He's on a decline. Um, he's at that level. And you know you hear fighters saying all the time, there's levels to this, there's levels to this. And I'm beyond his level. He's not ready for it. That's fair enough. And obviously there's a tasty fight we'd all love to see, which is yourself and Lawrence O'Colley. Lawrence O'Colley, um, he defeated Isaac Chamberlain. It wasn't the fight we expected, but he got the win. What were your thoughts on that, that domestic clash? Um, well, they're both not that experienced, you know. They're still novices in the, in the pro game. I'm not talking as if I'm like a seasoned pro, I'm not, I'm still fairly a novice myself. But what were we expecting? You know, it's seasoned pros that give us amazing, great fights or people that have been at that domestic level in tower round championship fights. That's where we get those big action packed fights. It was good, fair play to them, they did what they did and they both was to rise to the occasion. Um, I expected a bit more, but I did hear that and this was only um, today or yesterday, I heard something about Isaac having maybe a fractured patella and tibula or fibula, one of the bones in his legs. And if that's true, and he went out there and boxed for 10 rounds, man's got a heart of a lion. And I just take my hat off to him. And he's young anyway, he's gonna come back. Uh, the fight wasn't what I expected, but it can happen. And of course, I remember uh, Chamberlain and Camacho had a war. Yeah, yeah, they did. That was interesting. I thought um, Isaac was going to absolutely whoop his ass, <laughs> but that didn't happen. But uh, he's learning. It's all learning, isn't it? You can talk, talk all this, talk all that, but until you get in the rings, then things change. So yeah, and of course, you you want to fight Askins to unify. Okole, he's on the he's on the you know a session at the moment. Um, it's only natural that you two are going to collide. What do you? What's your thoughts on you and Lawrence clashing? How do you think that'll plan out? Well, if you think that I think I'm not going to beat Lawrence, then you're <laughs> mental. You are mental. We've got to ask, man. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah, beat Lawrence. Um, yeah. yeah, I do. I, I carry power. I carry speed. But my boxing ability is better than Lawrence's. Um, and I'm only going on his displays and what I've seen of his performance because I don't know what he's doing behind closed doors. But from my fights to his fights, you can see I carry the power and I can go, I can go to rounds. And I can fight, and I can box. I can, I can. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, and please don't think I'm being arrogant. But this is what I'm working on in the gym to have it all in my arsenal, and I can do it all. Would you? How do you assess his performance against uh, Chamberlain? The tactics he used. Well, he used his advantages, and fair play to him. And that's what you've got to do. That's what it's, And he made a statement uh, in his post-fight interview: "By any means necessary, he got the win. That's all that matters." You know, and he did what he had to do. And again, I congratulate the man. He done what he had to do. He's continuing on his journey, and fair play to him. Yeah, I mean, um, it's the, your division, especially domestically. It's a tasty division. There's some big oh, personalities, yeah. some good fights. We're all looking forward to in 2018. Yeah, yeah, and I'm right in the heart of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right in the heart. Of it, honest to God, I uh, I say this all the time. I must say, in almost every interview I'm in, I will fight anyone. As long as it makes business sense, because that's what we're all doing this for. We're all better on ourselves for a better future. We're all in this to earn money. 
as long as it makes business sense I will fight them and it's a fight that can happen I mean obviously Lawrence is under matchroom um, you're a free agent in terms of promoters what's the what was your rationale behind not having a promoter well I didn't have a massive amateur career we um, we was known slightly whilst turning over pro but I wasn't known you know an unknown quantity going to a promoter hey sign me they're going to be like, why are we going to sign you? We don't know you. What's your worth? What can you do? I've gone out there and I'm still proving my worth and I'm showing what I can do. But now when it comes to negotiating, I'm not coming to the table with empty, empty pockets. You know, I can say, this is the proof. This is what I can do. I can sell tickets. I can fight. I can do all of this stuff. Now do you want to sign me?